Hi, first grade. Okay, today we are looking at unit 13, week one in our foundations. So make sure you have this paper with you, okay? And I'm gonna take a word that is not on there, um, but is our word of the day that follows the rule. And the word is, hold on, I'm looking for something real quick before I get started, there we go. Okay, the word is includes. Um, make sure she includes the stamp when you send a letter includes. So I want to look at that word. The root word is include. Okay. And we, so if the root words include, then that means the S added at the end is the suffix. Okay. So I wrote include, I've underlined it as the root word, and then I've added the suffix S because that is what we are doing today. We're going to add the suffix S, the suffix ED, and the suffix ING to uh, words that have more than one syllable. It's the first time we've done that. So now we've underlined the root word and we have circled the suffix. Now I am going to break it up into syllables. Include is two syllables. So I'm gonna mark up my syllables. The first syllable is a closed syllable because it has one or more vowels followed by a consonant. So I'm gonna put a C under that. The second syllable is a vowel uh, silent E, long vowel silent E. So I'm gonna mark that up and I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna mark that with the V E syllable. And I'm also gonna go up and I'm gonna underline the blend L U not L-U, actually, it's C-L, sorry, not the U, because that's a vowel, it's the C-L. Make sure I have that marked correctly for you. Okay, so I have the first syllable, closed syllable, I-N, then I have clued as the V-E syllable. I marked out the E, because it's silent, the long U, the C and the L I've marked as a blend and I have circled the suffix, okay? So now let's do the same thing with one of your spelling words and it is using the suffix ing. So first thing we need to do is figure out what the root word is, publishing. She enjoys publishing her work. Publish is the root word, so I'm gonna underline that. The suffix is ing, so I'm gonna circle that. SH is a consonant diagraph, I'm gonna underline that. BL is a blend, I'm gonna mark that up. Now I'm gonna do my syllables. Pub and then lish. First one is a closed syllable. The second one is a V consonant E syllable. Okay, so now I'm going to do a word with um, the ed suffix, and the word is expected. I expected you to get a good night's sleep for the hard work today. So expect is the root word, expect. We added the suffix ed to make it expected. Um, the c and the t is a blend. The syllables are X and then pect, and it is a closed syllable and a V silent or VE syllable. So what we're doing is we're just building on what we already know. We have broken down these things, we have practiced them, but now we're putting the two syllables together, marking our syllables, showing our suffixes, and marking up our words, okay? So now let's look at our spelling words and I'm going to read them for you, okay? And then we will look at our trick words. So follow along, put your finger next to the first word, bed bugs, <clears throat> napkins, unzips, reptiles, mistakes, publishing, disrupting, finishing, expected, insisted. And the trick words are work, word, 
and right. And those are our controlled vowels in the middle there. And then right, um, they have that as a trick word because the WR, but we can follow that just being a vowel consonant E word, right? Um, <clears throat> trying to think if there's any word, I'm gonna use disrupting in a sentence. The behavior of the dog was very disrupting to my class, okay? Um, I'm also gonna use insisted in a sentence. She insisted that she ate all of her lunch, okay? So now what I want you to do, kids, is I want you to, I don't think I'm gonna actually have you, well, you can try to mark up your words like we normally do, but these are such big words with such, um, just a lot of things that you have to mark up. So if you wanna go ahead and put them in ABC order, you can. And then when you rewrite them, I want you to make sure that you mark them up, okay? Um, remember, we are looking at syllables. There's gonna be a closed syllable. There's gonna be a VE syllable. We are circling the suffix and all of them are gonna have either the suffix S, the suffix ING, or the suffix ED, except for the trick words. And then we are marking up things like the silent E long vowel, any consonant diagraphs, any blends, anything that you've learned thus far, Take your time and mark it up. And most importantly, boys and girls, do this in your very best handwriting, okay? Good luck. I hope all is going well with you, and I miss you all very much.